In 2003, the Da Vinci Code took the world by storm. It was the book everybody was talking about. Copies flew off the bookshelves at a record pace, and it soared to the top of every bestseller list. It was a novel that became a cultural phenomenon, with its claim that everything you ever learned about Christianity is false, and that the church had covered up its lies through a shadowy organization known as Opus Dei. And while it was found in the fiction section, it was not your ordinary novel. The Da Vinci Code begins with a fact page, which calls Opus Dei a sect known for dangerous practices, brainwashing, and wealth. And in its pages, it also accuses the group of being repressive of women. And now, the Da Vinci Code has many asking, what is the real Opus Dei? A good side of the Da Vinci Code furor is that there's a lot of interest in saying, what is the real Opus Dei? They have used this whole brouhaha about the Da Vinci Code as a very powerful teaching moment. My personal experience has been that Opus Dei is in fact not elitist at all. We are not the elite. You will see people in Opus Dei all over the world. In every country, among every people. Opus Dei is always pushing you to step out of your comfort zone. As a woman, it has really empowered me. Sainte Maria, I think, took his clues from Jesus Christ, who was for a woman. Negative impressions, myths and stereotypes about Opus Dei are not just negative impressions of Opus Dei. They become negative impressions of the entire Roman Catholic Church, which means that Opus Dei has a responsibility to the entire Catholic community to make sure that the world does not believe that there is a bizarre, cult-like, evil organism metastasizing uh, at the heart of the Catholic Church.